which essentially implies what are the risks or what are the advantages that would typically be there, how high is the risk of going or moving to the cloud, that, that's an analysis that must be done uh, a, a much before you kind of get on to moving to the cloud. The next thing that you must look for when you're migrating uh, to the cloud and the deployment that will typically be there would be, uh, <clears throat> you know, what would be the, uh, the impact that would be there or what is typically called as a business impact. Let us assume an academic institution or an organization who would like to kind of uh, move to the cloud. So moving to the cloud, does it help you get more students? Does it help you to, uh, you know, be more successful in the areas that you're currently in? Does it help you to get, uh, you know, start some more programs? So these are the factors that you must look for. End of the day, if moving to the cloud does not have a positive business impact, one must probably consider when and how they must move to the cloud. If it is business as usual, which you'd like to kind of uh, change, you must also consider doing that uh, to basically help uh, uh, evaluate the business impact that will typically be there. Another major thing which I have always uh, suggested to organizations is start the cloud migration at a time when it is a lean season within the academic calendar. What I would mean is you have all the students on the campus, you have all the faculty on the campus, a whole lot of classes are going on, that's definitely not the best time to start experimenting. So what you must typically do is you must start the basic trial or the deployment at a lean time which essentially means either during the vacations or post exams when uh, you know the, the academic uh, load is much less on all the users. B uh, would be the fact that you must uh, typically start at a time when the relevant users are available to try and test out the applications. So don't do it at a time when nobody is available, you start it off, the trial version for 30 days finishes and has honestly been, uh, you know, not been able to uh, evaluate the, the, the cloud computing uh, software. So it's, it's probably uh, not a good way to do, go about things. Another major thing that you must also look for is 